Okay, let's get started on the interior overview on this 2022 Venza Limited Edition. Some really great features on this one, including the Stargaze roof really cool feature so in this video we're just going to dive inside and i'll show you all the great features on the 2022 venza limited heading inside we'll uh, go ahead and stop on the driver's door first take a look at all the features here so the driver's door is all black kind of a charcoal black with a little bit of metallic finish on it upper armrest here this is all a padded armrest soft tech it's stitched actually to the door so a very high quality feel to it it's not just a plastic panel Interesting, they've got these little braided uh, accents here with the brushed uh, aluminum trim, brushed aluminum door handle, and then more of the brushed aluminum trim down here. A lot going on on this door in terms of styling. Uh, memory driver seat here, and we do have a power uh, tilt telescoping steering wheel that is coordinated with the seat. Auto up and down on all four windows, power door locks, power mirrors. This switch is interesting. That is going to be the power outside mirror. So that switch right there will fold these mirrors in or out when the vehicle is uh, switched from park to drive. Pretty cool feature, give it a look when you stop by. Then they've got this interesting um, metallic trim here. It's kind of a, it's hard to see. I, you probably can't see the color in the video, but. I'm kind of blue-green colorblind. It looks like it's green and gray and silver. So pretty interesting uh, feature there. Bottle holder in the door, speakers down in the door. It does read Venza right here. This is going to be the JBL audio system, so it's the upgraded speakers. And then down here we have a puddle light uh, in the door as well. So a lot of features just in the door. Let's go ahead and dive inside and take a look. The threshold does have Venza. It's kind of an aluminum Venza uh, plate here, and that's on all four doors. Now, the seats on the Limited, these are going to be a soft tech fabric seat. This is black, and it's got a kind of a white gray contrast stitching running up to the head, head or up to the headrest. It's perforated leather, so it's heated and ventilated seats. Height adjustable headrest as well as height adjustable seat belts, and then your airbags are actually built into the seat so the airbags move with you as you move the seat forward. Take a look at the uh, power controls. Sorry about that. Forward backwards power recliner, uh, power lumbar support for position. Passenger seat is power as well on the limited, I should say. Up on the dashboard, there's four vents more of that uh, brushed aluminum, satin uh, uh, aluminum here on and off switch up and down. There's two of them in the center console and then there's one over on the passenger side as well. More of that soft tech fabric on the, up on the dashboard padded and more of that braided accent that I showed you over here uh, on the door. So it kind of wraps into the door when you close the door. Functionally down here, we've got some switches. So dimmer switch for your dash lights, automatic high beams on and off, traction control on and off, 360 view on and off, heated steering wheel on and off and then your power gate release and then as i mentioned this one does have a tilt power tilt and telescoping steering wheel so when the vehicle's running you can move it forward backwards up and down and it is connected with the memory driver seat as well down below gas brake gas door release hood release right here and then uh, this one i believe has the all-weather floor mats in the trunk let's go ahead and jump inside and check it out Behind the wheel of the Venza, I've got my camera almost touching my nose. I wanted to give you a perspective from the uh, driver's side. I've got the seat all the way back, steering wheels all the way forward. Also want to show you the leg room here on the Venza. So I'm kind of a short person and I can just barely reach this pedal with the seat all the way back. So for sure a six footer is going to be comfortable with the seat all the way back. Uh, the steering wheel, this is a leather wrap steering wheel. This one is heated. And then on the left hand side, we've got our controls for our information center, which is gonna be up here in the gauge cluster, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, voice activation, and volume. So you can plug your phone in and use the uh, sound system to communicate. Driver side airbag, chrome Toyota badge, more of that uh, satin finished chrome we saw over here on the door. You'll see a bunch of that as we move through here. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, this is our cruise controls, dynamic radar cruise control settings, lane departure on and off, radio station settings and modes. Up here are our front washer wipers. Now this one does have the rain sense wiper so you can set it up to automatically come on and off by itself depending on the amount of moisture up on the windshield. 
We do have rear washer wiper with intermittent controls there. And then over here on the left hand side, headlight controls. We do have auto high beams also on and auto on and off. Um, and then we have our LED fog light controls right here. The directionals are kind of nice. If you just tap down once like that, it will it will flash three times and automatically shut itself off. That's great for changing lanes and those types of things. If you push all the way down, then it will cancel itself as you turn the steering wheel back the other way. We'll take a look at the uh, gauge cluster up here. I'm just going to move my seat ahead a little bit so I can actually reach things. There we go. So the Limited does come standard with the uh, push button start and then you get two key fobs with the Venza branding on the back. Um, so you don't need to take your keys out of your pocket to start it, but you need to put your foot on the brake and then push in the power button and away you go. So the engine, the gas engine will start uh, whether uh, by itself if it needs it or not. In this case, it didn't need to start the gas engine. Um, so your gauge cluster, just to uh, take a quick look, we've got our ecosystem over here for our hybrid. We've got our engine temperature. Over on this side is where our speedometer and our uh, fuel gauge is. Gas doors on the driver's side. The uh, center information, this piece right here, uh, gives you a whole bunch of information. Right away we're seeing a digital clock, we're seeing the outside temperature, we're in compass mode. Using the controls right here, uh, I can toggle through a variety of settings. So there's my sound system, there's our monitoring system for our energy, uh, for our hybrid tire pressure, all-wheel drive operation. So really a lot of great features. We've got pre-collision, parking assist, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert. So a lot of great things you can adjust for yourself. Super easy to see and read, uh, especially at night, a really great feature. Now this one does have the heads up display. You probably can't see it, but it's actually projecting the speed and a compass into the windshield. I can see it. That's part of the technology or the upgrade package to get that, so that's not standard. As we head over to the center stack, so this is the upgraded JBL sound system, the larger uh, control module. This is going to be an 11 inch uh, center stack. A lot of great features in here. So you've got virtual buttons here for your uh, heated and ventilated seats. Your heating and air conditioning system are virtual. You've got dynamic navigation here. You can also flip those back and forth if you want it to be over here. You can personalize that for yourself. Um, there's a subwoofer in the trunk for the JBL audio system. They also provide some extra speakers up here in the dash or in the A pillar for the JBL audio system. Really great system. Stop by the dealership, give it a listen, decide for yourself if it's worth the extra cost. Um, we also have uh, Sirius Satellite Radio, so you can uh, have three months of the premium subscription, no charge, and then subscribe after that. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. Here's your uh, hazard lights or your four ways. Two more vents I mentioned earlier. And then this entire area here is kind of that gloss black finish, which looks really nice, but it does pick up fingerprints and dust. So decide for yourself if you like it. I could come down either way on it, but it, it looks nice, that's for sure. There's more of that satin chrome here as well, kind of accenting and going down the center here. Now, your heating and air conditioning, they have virtual buttons down here, so you can change your temperature. You've got front window defrost, rear window defrost with heated outside mirrors, standard. You can also tune the radio and change the volume right here. So this whole section here is, is also covered up in your center stack or your top stack, so it's kind of redundant. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, I think what happened here was Toyota made this beautiful center stack and then they're like, okay, what should we put in there? And so they duplicated the same controls up here that really is about four inches away. So like, for example, you've got heated seat controls up here, but then there's switches down here to do the heated seats. So uh, a lot of redundancy on the heating and air conditioning. The virtual uh, controls are standard on the limited, uh, optional on the XLE and not available on the LE. I prefer the larger knobs myself because they're easier to find when you're driving than trying to f you know, feel something down here you can't necessarily find. Uh, but that's just my personal preference. And I do have an opinion from time to time. Down on the center console here, there's more of that metallic 
uh, finished trim that we saw over here on the door. So it's very subtle, but it does give it a nice upscale look and feel. This is also all padded and stitched, padded and stitched all the way across and more of that braiding we saw on the driver's door. So really nice upscale look and feel on the dashboard. Getting back to the center console. So here's our, our shifter. This is the CVT automatic, leather wrapped with more of that uh, satin finish chrome. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into uh, reverse so you can see the backup camera. Nice big screen with path projection. And also here's our 360 cameras as well. So we can see all the way around ourselves. Really, really nice system. I think one of the biggest uh, center stacks Toyota offers. Uh, 11 inches and then in the new tundra you can get a 14 inch so heading down further down the uh, center console here's our start stop button for our engine we have two usbs and a 3.5 millimeter jack here this switch right here turns on the wireless charging so if you have a wireless capable charging uh, cell phone you can drop it down there and charge it up two switches here for the parking brakes we do have electronic parking brake electronic brake hold and also the Venza it does have electric steering continuing back we've got EV mode and then drive mode EV mode I'll explain that that is not for electronic or electric driving down the highway that's for very slow speeds so let's say you're in your garage or a parking garage you hit that and the elect and the gas engine won't start you can drive at very slow speeds um, the best use case for that in my opinion is when you get home at the end of the day you pull in the garage and you want to finish listening to a podcast you hit that it'll turn off the gas engine and then you'll be running off the large battery so that's a good use for it as well uh, if you're a private in investigator you're gonna like that if you're a uh, undercover police officer you're gonna like that you hit that button the gas engine stays off and you run on electric save you a bunch of money this entire section down here this is all padded uh, soft tech fabric stitched same as what we saw up here so when you run your hands down this this feels very very upscale i would say it's very lexus like two cup holders here more of the satin finish and then there's uh, tension springs for your cups it's quite deep and you could should be able to fit a variety of mug sizes in there moving back on the uh, center armrest so the armrest is padded fabric soft tech fabric just like everything else is contrast stitching and then when we pop that open more of that uh, metallic finish here's our heated and ventilated seat controls three temperatures for driver and front passenger and a nice storage cubby down here with a 12 volt outlet way down there hopefully you can see it take a look at the passenger side same features we saw on the seat on the driver's side height adjustable headrest seat belt passenger assist grip lighted vanity mirrors up here visor extensions on both sides take a quick look at the overhead more gloss black trim up here we've got reading lights boom boom door lights panoramic or our stargaze uh, switch for opening and closing the stargaze moonroof okay that stargaze roof is really cool so right now it's kind of translucent if I tap on this it actually opens it up so you can see outside that does not open it's not uh, designed to slide open but you can change how much light comes in or you can close the shade altogether really cool feature fourteen hundred dollar feature give it a look decide for yourself back up here we've got our safety connect for our roadside assistance variety of warning lights here as I've said before LED reading lights here on both sides our mirror our rear view mirror this is a frameless mirror so no frame it does have virtual setup so that's almost like a uh, screen a computer screen or a camera screen I can actually see behind me really really great or you can go back to the uh, conventional home link you've got three controls for your home link and then over here, these are controls for uh, programming that mirror to different settings if you like. There's also a microphone in here, which is really nice. It helps you communicate using your smartphone as well. Check that out. That is really kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. Stop by the dealership, take a look. It's like looking at a monitor, a TV monitor out the back. It comes in handy if you've got people behind you or a lot of cargo and you're blocking the rear view mirror. There's actually a camera in the back of the Venza that is picking up that that screen really interesting 
On the uh, passenger side, same door panel trim finishes that we saw over on the driver's side. I did want to point out the glove box. Nice size glove box. Of course, you do get the owner's manuals, but the glove box does not lock, so there's no key lock on the glove box for the Venza. That's a quick look up front. Let's go ahead and jump in the back seat. Here's a quick look up front from the back seat. So nice spacious front driver's compartment and that uh, Stargaze uh, roof is pretty, pretty darn cool. Comes all the way back here, lets a lot of light in the back seat. Down on the center, we've got our vents. There's no temperature controls. And then there's two USB ports all the way down there on the floor. The uh, back seats have pockets on both of them. And I wanted to show you the leg room behind here. Now I've got that seat forward about halfway and you can see how much leg room there is. So there's plenty of, of passenger room back here. Room for two adults, three adults in a pinch. Passenger assist grip, coat hook here. Seats are perforated in the back. These are not heated or ventilated up front. Same style and features on the doors. Three seat belts. A folding armrest right here with dual cup holders. There's also bottle holders down in the doors. These back seats actually recline, which is where they're at right now. So if you pull the switch right up here, bring it up, notice it sits up about two inches. It's a little bit more vertical. If your passengers want to lay back, pull it back like that and away you go. You can also bring these seats down, the seat down while sitting in one of them. And one thing I want to point out, notice I did not have to take off the headrest to be able to do that. So we do have tethers for your child safety seats, and now I've got access to the trunk here as well. There is an overhead lamp right here for reading. I like the fact that it's behind the passengers, so if they're trying to read, it's gonna shine and, and make it much easier to read a book or a newspaper or what have you. Lots of space back here for sure. And again, we do have the child tether hooks down here for your child safety seats. This really is a classy, luxurious vehicle and plenty of room in the back seat. Go ahead and pop the hatch and check it out. Diving into the trunk on the Venza, this is a nice big hatchback and that's going to be a power lift gate on there as well, which is height adjustable. So you can set it up if you have a low ceiling in your garage, you can program it so it doesn't go up and hit your garage. On the uh, threshold of the Limited, there's brushed aluminum plates here across the back. So that really dresses it up. The LE doesn't have those. Uh, Limited does have the cargo cover, retractable cargo cover, which is standard, and you can remove that without tools. It's just friction fit here, so you just give it a tug like that, and you can pull it out. And it's actually designed so that you can stow it down underneath here. And I'm just going to set it aside for right now. So back underneath here, we've got a nice super flat floor. You can see there's more of the uh, brushed aluminum trim here. There's your JBL subwoofer, part of the upgraded sound system. It's a nice flat floor back here. There's a cargo light here, LED. And then as far as underneath, there's a tremendous amount of space underneath here. Let's uh, go ahead and pop that up. So take a look at how much cargo room there is there. If you need to stow emergency equipment, jumper cables, blankets, first aid kits, no problem. There's your tool kit right there super easy to use and then underneath here you can also stow that cargo cover i showed you just a few minutes ago now i've got the back seats down or this 60 percent down so you can see how much room there is and cargo room this one you pretty much have to come up front here if you want to drop down these seats unless you have really long arms but look at you've got cargo storage under there you've got a nice high place to be able to put items there and then if i come back here Take a look at how much room is in here. Super spacious. You could put a, uh, an air mattress in here and do an overnight camping trip. Even I think a six footer could do that in here. So a lot of great features on here. Um, we do have that, as I mentioned, that power lift gate. So go ahead and tap that and that'll take care of itself. So that's your uh, interior overview on the 2022 Venza limited edition Hey, if you like the video go ahead and hit that thumbs up and then be sure to look for a link at the end of this video for the exterior overview and We will see you in the next video